Hi friends, Simit here from InformTrades.com. This video will be the first in a series of videos on advanced usage of the FXCM trading station. Basically, you know, in the uh, some of the beginner videos, we cover the basics of how to place an order, how to modify an order, how to generate reports, and things like that. In this series of videos, we'll be focusing on installing custom indicators, uh, back testing strategies, as well as setting up alerts. So those three things: custom indicator strategies, back testing strategies, and alerts. Uh, we'll be focusing on how to get the most out of that in the FXM Trading Station. There's a lot of uh, features that can be used for a wide variety of traders. You know, if you're very quantitative and you want to be into back testing there's that opportunity if you rely on a, a wide variety of indicators or need finely tuned custom indicators you can do that and alerts personally that's what I think is uh, is very exciting alerts as a market scanning tool alert you when uh, certain candlestick patterns form which I think is especially useful uh, something that price action traders in particular may be interested in so in this video, we will, uh, or I'll walk through the some of the basic installation uh, installation process of how to get started with the advanced features and sort of the basic layout of that whole uh, that whole part of the trading station with the the part where you can set up alerts and and install custom indicators and back test sort of the basic foundation. That in subsequent videos we'll go into uh, more advanced elements of how to actually back test the strategy, uh, certain indicators that uh, the community has shared, or, or how to do alerts, set up alerts for candles patterns and things like that. Uh, one of the things that's a sort of a broad concept uh, to understand is that there is a community approach here. So there's all sorts of uh, members who are using the FXCM trading station that are creating custom indicators and sharing them. Uh, and that's something if you're a software developer you can participate in this as well uh, where you share custom indicators, you share strategies, you share uh, alerts. And then if you're a member, you can just install an alert. So if you're looking for an alert that alerts you to every time a hammer pattern forms, for instance, uh, there's probably a community member who has already created an alert that scans the market, scans the currency market for hammer patterns and, uh, and alerts you, sends you an email or a text. Um, and you can then install that, uh, that on your trading station. So we'll go through the process of, of how that works. It's pretty straightforward. It's a little technical, but uh, our video series will help, uh, will help you understand that if you find it a little confusing. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first step to getting started with installing and using custom indicators on the FXCM platform is to register for a demo account. So you fill in all your information here. Okay, then you'll get your username and password. This will also be emailed to you. And you want to download the desktop platform. And once you download it, you know, you uh, you go through the normal installation process. Basically, uh, just click here, open and install and run it. And once you run the platform, you'll see something that looks like this. Up here at alerts and trading automation, uh, that's where you can actually import the extensions which are the equivalent of apps or analogous to I should say apps to uh, on your smartphone where you can add a whole bunch of functionality you can add custom indicators uh, you know you can do a lot in terms of backtesting strategies um, so that's the the section that we'll be focusing on a lot of these videos a lot of the rest of the platform is sort of your your basic functionality the research section is um, that's uh, that's also something interesting. Live account holders, they get trading signals here, uh, trading courses, uh, a lot of information from daily effects. There's free picks from analysts. It's a little bit different than trading signals. You know, not exactly precise signals, but you'll get uh, you'll get commentary and you will get a lot of uh, trading ideas. So here's one right here. It's almost a signal, basically. Uh, it tells you it tells you a little bit of information. Uh, that can help with trading. So that's uh, that's all available. Uh, the research section, you know, apply for live account, chat, a lot of standard features that you'd expect out of any uh, trading platform. Um, and then, of course, up here is uh, where was it? Uh, alerts and trading automation. Here, that's where you can import the extensions, which are like the apps. Uh, to do that, in terms of the equivalent of the App Store, is basically fxcodebase.com um, and I think I actually have it already open here uh, yeah so you go to fxcodebase.com and that's the big repository of, of apps 
Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of free apps here, signal strategies, a lot of tools that can help you in backtest. A lot of it is not entirely intuitive. Uh, it may require a little bit of technical fluency, but that is the goal. Part of one of the goals of uh, this video series that we'll be releasing on Inform Trades to help you understand how to get the most out of this. But once you've got the platform installed, go to fxcodebase.com. That's where you can find a number of indicators. Basically. When it comes to, we'll go through the installation of an indicator or uh, here just to to illustrate. You, know, you click there's indicators. You can install signal strategies, uh, that type of thing. You can also participate here and make requests. But let's just the the installation process for whatever you're installing, whether it's a custom strategy or an indicator, is basically the same. So just to illustrate the process, let's try installing a custom indicator. We click on the custom indicator forum. And uh, you know, just for uh, illustration purposes, we can pick any indicator, uh, split moving average. Okay, now it, most of the files will be .lua. Uh, so here, there's actually two split, move, split moving average of volume and just regular split moving average. Let's just use this as an example. Uh, and the split moving average, you know, as this says here, there's usually a brief description. So the idea is to calculate a moving average for prices on up days and calculate a moving average for prices on down days. Uh, and that's sort of the split in comparing the two. Uh, there's lots of indicators like this. Once it's downloaded, you know, .lua file, then you just go here, you go back to your trading platform, charts, alerts, and trading on it. Uh, automation import extension and then you want to find it from your downloads folder or wherever your uh, your computer is set to naturally download uh, uh, files if you haven't touched anything and you're using a Windows computer most likely it's just going to be in what's called the downloads folder and you can uh, see that up here so we'll select split moving average and the extension has been sold. That's basically it. Now when we go to our charts, let's see, we open a chart, let's pick a daily time frame, Euro USD, of course we can change the ticker, let's just keep it on this for now. And insert add indicator. Split moving average indicators that you install. There's a whole bunch of custom in or indicators that are already installed, as you can see. Uh, if there's anything you get from FX Codebase, it'll probably be all the way at the bottom in this other section here. Split moving average, okay. And here you can customize the parameters. Uh, in this video, you know, maybe we'll do another video that actually goes in details on this, but you can customize the parameters of all the indicators. Let's just go with the default for now, just for illustration purposes. And that basically shows you split moving average. So there are lots of indicators like this, lots of strategies you can even install. You know, there's a whole backtesting component. We'll go through that in future videos. The purpose of this video was just to illustrate the basics of getting the platform set up installing indicator, how to install indicator and strategies, and sort of illustrating uh, the possibilities here. Lots of potential for traders to really refine and test their strategies. And that's about it. Any questions you have, anything you want to add, join us at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.